Well, it finally happened. Third season in a row hitting Legend, and I finally have Unbroken. Welcome back everyone to another Embrace Destiny video. Kaz PhD here. Today we're going to talk about the Unbroken title, Trials, uh, Crucible in general. You can hear my cat in the background. I'm not editing this. I'm calling it now. And uh, we're just going to talk about the journey and what the Crucible is like right now. So first thing I want to acknowledge is it with the changes to matchmaking, the way that glory uh, points work nowadays, and the, the glory rank uh, floors, uh, it is easier. It's easy. It's never been easier to uh, get to legend. Now, that's not to say it's easy, and I want to make that clear. I see a lot of discourse in the community. People throw out terms saying, oh, it's just it's easy. It's easy now. It's not easy. It's a lot easier, I will, I will say. And I mean, if you go in there with a really dedicated team, maybe it, it's easy for you but it's still a challenge it's still a goal that takes uh, a lot of time and and commitment i think and an improvement i mean if you're already a pvp god maybe it's easy you jump in from some other game and the way you go but for me i'm mostly i still mostly consider myself a pve player i love the worlds of destiny exploring the lore stuff like that uh, and it was only the last you know let's say six months that I really dedicated myself to being uh, a stronger PVP player. Uh, along the way, and we're gonna talk a bit about what I've learned and everything, but I will, I do have to acknowledge that without the crazy, you know, freelance competitive has made things easier. And uh, the fact that once you get to a certain rank, you don't drop below it, that's, a, that's really nice. Um, it, it has been a lot less of a stressful journey and i think that's another key thing to point out is that it's easier but in many ways that alleviates a lot of stress rather than devaluing the title i think so um let's talk a little bit about what i've learned as a player um i've definitely learned a lot of things first off sniping how to snipe how to counter snipe how to avoid sniping it's a very important part of the crucible and as someone who usually runs around punching everything as a titan uh, it's, a, it's a skill I've had to learn the hard way over a long time. But thanks to things like the Revoker quest and, and such, I've actually learned how to snipe, uh, which has been pretty surprising, I gotta say, and uh, really nice. It's nice to add to the um, experience and, and my, my, uh, my skill set by being able to not only be able to snipe, but learn what the capabilities and the tendencies of snipers are. It helps me uh, plan things out a bit more. Communication is another skill I've worked on, uh, trying to learn the maps. Some of them I remember from Destiny 1, but I never had any callouts for them. It was just, you know, left, right, and over here. Really trying to work on that uh, and knowing the areas. I still wish I knew every part of every map. You know, when you look on the top left of your radar, it tells you exactly where you are. I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody in the community uses that. I hear a lot of people with their own funny nicknames for things. You know, for example, the loading bay out here, I don't know what it's properly called, but I always call it trucks, even though there's only one truck right here. What is it called? Oh, loading dock. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah. But whatever you use, try to make it consistent, make it uh, valuable to your team. Uh, really trying to work on efficiency, you know? Trying to not stress so much or comment so much, but actually have clear, concise communication. Um, something I was thinking about last night was uh, changing your gun skill, or sorry, changing your uh, gunplay mid-battle. So I don't know if any of you do this, uh, but this is something I still find myself guilty on. Let's say you're facing off against someone and they jump toward you from left to right, and you're aiming toward them with your, you know, with your hand cannon, one shot, two shot, both in the body. Uh, maybe your third shot goes in the body and they kill you because they've rushed you or their shots are better or whatever. And you're following them, but you're kind of in a routine of strafing from side to side or, or changing your, your perspective. Uh, once, in a, once in a while, I, I've learned to kind of see myself as I'm playing and realize, no, 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 your shots are not hitting the head. And there have been a couple of clips, even in here or, or in, in recent gameplay, where I shoot once in the body, mentally immediately realize, no, I'm, I'm not where I need to be. I take a couple of shots if they're facing off against me with like an auto rifle or something, and I reposition, take double headshot, they're dead, move on. Um, 
stuff like that. Speaking of auto rifles, boy, hard light. Who would have thought that would have, uh, you know, made a comeback? Insert Paul Rudd, not me. Dot gif. Um, yeah, hard light is everywhere. So is Suros. I think Suros is far more lethal, but hard light is maybe far more annoying, just because you can be anywhere on the map and just ricochet off of every wall. They're not unbeatable. Uh, my loadout is Revoker Luna's. Not very creative, I'll admit, but I'm pretty effective with it. And yeah, you just you just got to use cover. You got to know when to push, um, when to work with your team, etc. Speaking of uh, teams, if you are looking to improve in the competitive playlist, probably the number one piece of advice I can give you is try to play Trials or play Elimination. Now, some of you may not have a dedicated team or what have you, so you can't really do trials, but elimination is there. It's match made. You can jump in. Playing a bunch of trials will make you value that one life that you have. Sorry, or elimination. Playing elimination will make you value that life that you have, and it will make you a, a smarter uh, competitive player. You know, a lot of people run in, and, and I'm guilty of it too. I go from a lot of PvE, maybe a bunch of quick play, and I'm used to, eh, it doesn't matter if I push in and die. I, I got the kill, I'll respawn. We don't have that option in Trials. You don't have that option in Elimination. Um, yes, a good push can be, you know, valuable if the rest of your team is alive or can follow it up or get the revive, but you, you have to reassess that. So, yeah. I think uh, after playing Trials for a couple of weekends in a row and then practicing in Elimination, uh, Competitive was was much more approachable. Uh, I was just more aware of the 3v3 format, and uh, I was so worried. Not I wasn't playing cautiously by any means, but I was more aware of you know the way that the teams were pushing. A lot of times when I went before, I would jump into a competitive match, and it just seemed like. 3v3 rumble everybody was just playing however they wanted there was no cohesion uh, but after playing some trials and elimination and then jumping into competitive i started playing in it you know more as a team even when i wasn't in a fire team i've said it uh many times but there's there's a number of key skills in the crucible that uh if you want to improve you need to consider and work on i mean obviously gunplay that's that's just your own natural skill um, that's just a matter of practice and time, and it can be it can be jarring when you switch to different weapons. That's something I, I'm working on. I'm fairly good with my Revoker and my Lunas, or some combination of hand cannon sniper. I'm f I'm okay with other weapons, but not in a truly competitive uh, playlist. So I need to expand that. I need to make it so I can use a wider a range of weapons. You know, maybe a bow, or maybe uh, you know some some fusion rifles or shotguns or something. Obviously, they all have their merits, but for me, first off, find something you like, find something that's effective, learn it, use it, practice in the Tribute Hall, practice in Quick Play, etc., um, so your skill can improve. The next thing, probably the biggest thing, is your decision-making. Decision-making is extremely important, and probably more important than skill, because unless you're slaying, unless you're just... You know, your skill is so high, you can make whatever decision you want and eliminate the other team. Your game sense and your decision making will save you and win more matches than your gunplay, I think. And, there, and there's factors that contribute to that decision making. Game sense is one. True Vanguard made a video probably, I don't know, like six months ago uh, where he talked about game sense. And what you mean by that is... Where's the enemy? What are they doing? What are they using? Did they pick up heavy? Uh, where are your allies? Are they pushing? Are any of them down? All of this kind of stuff. And you can call out a lot of that information uh, while you're playing as a team. But it's best if you're able to do both. If you're able to call it out and hear it as a team, but also to observe it on your own. Something I sometimes forget to do in regular quick play is keep an eye on the kill feed in the bottom left. Who's been getting kills? With what? You know, somebody uh, somebody getting a kill with uh, with a gun and now they have a kill clip, they're going to melt me faster. Uh, did somebody pick up heavy and I didn't realize it? What heavy did they pick up? Grenade? Okay, if, uh, it's probably going to be colony or they're going to... It's either going to be colony or it's gonna, they're going to come in close range, right? Oh, they picked up rockets? Well, either stay off the ground or avoid close range because it's probably ward cliff, right? These kinds of... Um, this kind of sense 
will help you. It's a running backlog of, of information that goes into your brain that then feeds into decision making. Now you're seeing me in this video, I'm making a lot of bad decisions actually. I'm pushing lanes by myself. Uh, I still have a lot to learn. Other than being aware of what your team is doing, it's yeah, it's making, making the decision. Do I push up now or do I not? And a lot of it comes down to practice, uh, timing, and, uh, and just experience, right? Every situation's different, but a lot of games of these 3v3, it's, it's like a, it, it, it's like a, I'm trying to think of the right analogy here. It, it's like a dance. I mean, it's, you, 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 there are proper steps. You push up, you see them uh, hard scoping, you back off. Now you engage them from a different angle. Your teammates are pushing from a different angle, angle to flank, oh no they're being turned on you got to push in to help and provide cover fire etc i mean you know we were joking during this game last night that we were each taking each other's kills but at the end of the day it doesn't matter right like i'm going to take your kills you're going to take mine just get just put the put the enemy team down right um yeah so I think uh, I, I've definitely learned a lot. I feel like a much more confident player. The next step is going to be helping other people to get fabled or, or maybe to legend um, and uh, and to expand my repertoire of, of my armory, basically. So I'm not always running the same loadout. I'm getting a little bored of, of the same kinds of things. Uh, so I definitely want to try switching over to maybe a shotgun or a fusion rifle. Uh, I think using a bow would be interesting. Not a lot of high-end players use bows, and when they do, it seems to surprise uh, teams. It surprises the, the enemy. So I think I could get really, uh, if I get like a quick draw primary, you know, I could use like uh, Monarch and, uh, and something like that. So other than that, I will say, I've said it before, I got a video earlier in the channel, a couple of videos back, where I talk about the uh, incentives of PvP, and that is a problem right now. Other than previous pinnacle or ritual weapons, uh, there's no real reason to play, uh, or, or maybe this title, uh, or Triumphs, there's no real reason to play um, to play quick, uh, quick play or, or stay in PvP. And I, I feel bad for those players who like PvP more than anything else because other than maybe a map every season, we're not getting a lot. But I think there are a number of issues in Destiny right now in terms of the near and the long-term engagement. And I just hope as always that Bungie is continuing to keep that in mind and work on it. Anyway, we're gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you all very much for watching, making it to the end of the video. I stream most nights. You can see the link down in the description below between four and 7 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. to midnight UK. I love helping people, so maybe I'll help you uh, if you're on the Xbox Reach uh, Legend. Thank you all very much. Have a good day. Bye now.